I, uh, you know, I, I, I really had gone into personal growth. It was like a path of healing for me. I, um, it was really important to me. It had probably become the prime focus of my personal life. I was into metaphysics, but I, I certainly didn't have a great admiration of channeling and I had not been exposed to channeling teachings. I was taken to one channeler by a friend and he was great and I now look back and see he was a really good channeler and I remember meeting him and he was a really nice man and uh, he had a he ran a business so he did channeling sessions uh, for free on a Wednesday evening for whoever would want to come um, because he made his living elsewhere and so he uh, he really activated my skepticism because I remember thinking what a nice man he seems really wise why did he need to close his eyes and put on a funny voice to tell me all that stuff? And then, of course, the egg is now on my face because what I didn't realize at the time is that when you're bringing channeled energy through your body as opposed to writing it down, there is a bit of a shift in your voice or in your energy field. And it makes me very compassionate to the people who are skeptical about channeling because I think if, if you haven't experienced it and had something move in your body when you're listening to it or done it for yourself, it can seem a bit like, you know, what, what is that? And, and also, you know, you have the, you have the kind of witch hunters who uh, have been around for hundreds of years who want to attack or shame or vilify people who are, are working multidimensionally or with spirit. So that's always been there. Um, so I remember being on the tube, the London Underground, um, going to my job, which was fundraising at the time and sorting through all these thoughts in my head in the morning. And literally that one morning I was going through all of my thoughts, which weren't great. You know, they were probably thing, being very hard on myself and things that weren't quite working and worry. And all of a sudden from this side of my head, which to this day is still the position that I hear them through when, when I hear them or talk to them, I literally heard a voice and it was it was kind of along long I don't remember the exact words but it was along the lines of no you've got that wrong and here's why so of course you're like oh my god I'm schizophrenic this isn't right and and I was I was kind of blown away but I started having this relay conversation and it was so isolated the voice and it was so not words that I had any precognition of and so what I started to do was I would go home and write questions to the voice and get the answer and it would blow me away how they knew more than I did and they could help me through some of my human ego stuff. So for example, having a disagreement with someone and thinking that oh, this is, oh, they're really wrong and the answer would be like, no, this is your problem and here's why. And my whole body would go, wow, it was like, Phew. so channeling is very impactful on the body uh, when you are a channeler or if channeling works for you and that's what it's designed to do it's designed to open us out make our energy feel bigger and help us connect with higher realms and wider realms energetically so um i stumbled on it because i had i thought it has to be some big thing i thought i have to be surely in peru on a mountain meditating and someone has to put their hand on my head because that's what I'd learned you know that's what that's the myth I was believing and that's why I'm a real advocate for we can all connect to our guides or higher realms or higher wisdom or your higher self whatever you whatever name you experience it as um, so that was my experience